Let's go, Dazzlers! Welcome back to Daz Games. We're back with another Daz Watches. Money. Some people say it makes the world go round. NASA would disagree. Other people have been very successful in life and hoard their money, and these people are known as cheapskates. If you've grown up poor, like I have, you do have an appreciation for money. But it's not the be all end all of all things. Most people want to get rich in life. It's an actual goal. If you think getting rich will make you happy, trust me, it doesn't. We've reacted to cheapskates before. It's been a while since we've done an uh, extreme cheapskates Daz watches. So I figured we'd do another one after much demand. Let's meet our new cheapskate. My name is Abdul. Hey Abdul. And I am an extreme cheapskate. The background says otherwise. Are they real roses? Is this granite? Look at that fridge. You live in a nice house, Abdul. I basically run a successful business. I have a mobile food business with the hot dog carts. I want to go. When I pull out my wiener, that's when the magic happens. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Everybody wants to take a picture. Everyone's going bananas over this thing. So if I'm a little slow, I pull my wiener out, and there it goes. OK, you need to like rephrase a lot of what you're saying. <laughs> if, if you just close your eyes and listen to that, that out of context is mm, <laughs> not good. There'll be no pulling out wieners and taking pictures. All right, stop it. My husband I would haggle anything, anything and everything, whether it's a necessity or something that I may want. Oh, he hackles. Okay. I don't get people that heckle, hackle, however you want to pronounce it. The price is the price, okay? And the person selling it has to make a profit. Why should you get it for free and everyone else has to go without? If you can make that right there, 343 in the tank. Oh, man. No, he's pumped in three fifty-four. Why three dollars and fifty-four cents? That's how much fuel you put in. Good luck getting round the block. <laughs> That's as far as you can drive. Three fifty. Three fifty. Okay, we got a deal. All right, my man. Take care. It would be embarrassing. Uh, you, you can tell she must love him in order to put up with that. Let me get uh, two bigger burgers. Eleven sixty-four. Correct. Let's just. How about I just get rid of the 64 and let's just make it $11 even? Yeah. And then he won't get paid. It's 64 cents. Just pay it. Did you want to take off a shake or a burger or? No, 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 let's keep everything on. Okay, well, um, yep, it would be 11.64 then. <laughs> Basically, screw you. How about I throw in some extra ketchup and salt packets in your bag? Yeah, can't wait to get home and get ketchup. I hate that at fast food restaurants. Side rent! You ask. Right, you ask for just uh, some ketchup, all right, or some barbecue sauce. They fill the bag up with it. It's lined. You ever been to Five Guys? The way they handle their chips or their fries, whatever continent you're from. You say to them, like, C can I get fries with that? Yes, sir, absolutely. I'll make sure I curl them up in a big fucking sludgy ball, throw them in the bottom of your bag, and put your burger on top. So when you get it out, moist chips. <laughs> moist chips. I hate how Five Guys handle their chip. They just get a bag and they just fucking throw it up in the air and like collect it. It's terrible. When it comes to haggling, I would say I have a probably a 85% success rate. That's why you have such a nice house. Meanwhile, Dennis at In-N-Out Burger is eating cardboard. Right here. Yep. Doesn't matter how much it is. You know, she's got her own money. She can pay for what she wants. Don't always look at the price tag. $25 is a lot for a bag. $25 for that? I thought that was worth more. That's good. Don't embarrass her. I feel sorry for her now. Jesus, just let her go in there with pride and buy her a shit. All right. You ready to be rung up? Yep, we are. Um, excuse me. Just want to talk to you a little bit about the prices. Certainly. You know? She's going to kill him. Like, one day he's going to wake up with a handbag in his ass. Say, price that. Go one by one here. <clears throat> Do we have any wiggle room with this, uh, this jacket here? Some blind Belgium nun probably made the product you're buying. <laughs> Seems to be the case with most clothing lines. And there, and there you are trying to get more off the price. Bloody hell. This give you a $10 off. How about another $5 off of each item? So that f he wants $15, if I'm correct, off of every item. The bag was worth 25. He's trying to get it for five pounds. How's the store gonna make any money? These these shops you're walking into, my man, they have overheads. People need pay, people gotta eat. Oh. Um, because you are new, mm -hmm. I will do 20% off. Oh, bless her, she's so sweet. 
20% is a lot off of, you know, I wouldn't even take that. Like, I get, like, times can be hard, but he's already stated uh, that he has money and he's very successful. So arguing over a $25 bag f for his girlfriend or wife or whatever. Thanks a lot, Kat. So it's not that I don't have money, it's just that I don't want to spend it all. Yeah, meanwhile, other people just suffer. Typical rich folk, people. I remember when the government came forward with new legislation. Let me finish. <laughs> new legislation. I can't say that word. It's another word I can't say. Legislation. Legislations. That's it. I remember when the government came forward with. Fuck. <laughs> I can't. I can say it on its own, but I can't say it as a sentence. I remember when the government came forward with new legislations. That, like, the top 1% of people had to pay more tax. I fall into that top 1% and I'd be more than happy to pay more tax. Uh, so, you know, people without could, you know, pay less. It's it's no skin off my boot. Is that a saying? Skin off my boot. There's no skin on a boot. Unless you're wearing cow boots, then it technically is skin. It works! We're keeping it. No skin off my boots! That's the new saying. <laughs> it's my 10-year anniversary. It's coming up. And I want to do something special for my wife. All right, that's nice. Cool. What, what are you going to do? Take her somewhere nice? Take a nice meal? Hmm? I really don't want to spend a lot of money. So I gave myself a budget of $25. Where are you taking her? A car park? What's she going to do for anniversary for $25? A good, decent set of roses, you know, can, can cost that. Oh, this poor woman. This poor woman. She's not allowed to go shopping without being embarrassed. Now, look, he, look, he can't even buy a car with all the seats. I know he's put them down, right? What you have to understand here, people, is that I'm a comedian. I make jokes, yeah? Jokes. That's all it is. I understand how that car works. Oh, the seats are laid flat, all right? You have to explain it to me. Sometimes when I make a joke now, I can hear my audience, right? And Tate's boyfriend's coming through. Oh, this shows how much you know about cars. <laughs> Dealing with a lot lately. Dealing with a lot. So I bring my good friend Rick along. He wants to put this anniversary together for under $25. No, not a chance. Not a chance. I don't think he can do it. I know I can do it. $25. Is she worth $25? Bloody hell. Come on. What was that say to you? My love, I spent $5 on you. Worship me. I bought you a flannel. <laughs> so one of my stops is the party store. I have a strategy when I go in. You go in the party store and think you're gonna come out with $25 spent? No. These places, are they rinse you. You go in there like, hi, can I have one balloon, please? You come out and you, you've had to remortgage your house. These party stores are crazy. You know when you get some stuff that's like out of season, okay. you, know, you probably get a better deal. To me, balloons are balloons. So the guy had some disc- There you go, look, balloons, see? There we go. <laughs> it's like I've been here before. Counter balloons, it's the thought that counts. 10 to 12 dollars. You could get her a balloon. She's not five. Even when I was five, if you bought me a balloon, I'd be like, what is this? Is it charity? I don't believe in getting people, no matter how old they are, I don't believe in balloons. They're not a nice gift. Oh, it's your birthday. Don't worry. I know exactly what to do. I know what to do. Here's a bag of my fucking air. What a sack of your breath! How am I gonna celebrate with that? Inhale it? Ugh. Ugh. That's horrible. Jesus Christ. Don't buy me balloons. Linda! <laughs> Cross balloons off my list. I don't want balloons. I like how I look up like she's up there. She's just dangling above the desk. <laughs> 10 or 12 dollars? Uh huh? <sighs> hmm. I. I can check and see if I've got- So let's look at that, $12 for a balloon. Doesn't even look nice. A black with champagne bar. Ugh. Oh, it looks cheap, but it isn't. He's gonna have to give up one of his kidneys for that balloon. Got any clearance balloons? I got a couple laying around. I can see if I've got something. Clearance? Um, uh, oh, look at what is a clearance balloon? Right here. See Gary, that's a good- oh, Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's even uglier than the first one. I hate fucking balloons. <laughs> If any of my friends are watching this, if you get me balloons for my birthday, fuck you. <laughs> Anniversary sale. Hey, that's a good one. You sure your wife's gonna like that though? Nope. Nope, she's expecting a candle lit dinner. She's probably gonna get a can of dog food. And you fill it up with helium, right? Is that what you do? Uh-huh, okay. yeah. 
What if we did like three fourths of helium? So to save money, right? He's already got a clearance balloon. I didn't even know they had them. Balloons that no one wants, right? Now to get the price down from $2. $2! He's gonna ask to fill it with less helium. So now she's not only getting a balloon for their anniversary as a monument to here's our relationship and what it means to me, she's now getting a saggy floating balloon. A half inflated balloon. You know like when you had a party as a kid and like the, the, the next day half the balloons, either the kids sucked them and got smacked off their tits on helium. You had loads of kids running around going, oh! And then the, the, what was left, like, you, you, your mum used to keep all the balloons until they literally died. They got lower and lower to the ground. Until they were just sacks of floppy air. That's what he's gonna give his wife! A floppy sack! So air is cheaper than helium. Air is cheaper than helium. Okay. Now, if we, if we did all air in the balloons, what are we looking at? You're looking at them on the floor. He's gonna hold it up. It's gonna be fucking down there. There's no helium in it. You're also gonna be looking at um, your settlement for your divorce. We breathe oxygen every day, but I have to pay this guy for his oxygen? No, I'll use my own oxygen. There you go, see, that's what people do. They, they just f give people sacks of their breath and call it a present. Another side rant, right? If I'm sick, all right, and I'm in hospital or anything, and your ass brings me grapes. Thanks. Thanks for these, um, thanks for the fruit, you know. I've still got a slip disc, by the way, but thanks, thanks for this fruit that I now have to like individually stretch with my injury and pluck the fuckers off and eat them. Thanks! <laughs> Don't buy me a gift. Just come see me. That means something to me. Don't bring me fruit that I then have to eat. Now I feel guilty because they've gone off and I've still got a slip disc. <laughs> it's a true story. Well, oh, I, had, I had one more, but it's just a police car, it looks like. Oh, not as, not as cool. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't say anniversary. You're buying her a police car balloon? Am I missing something? I mean, that, now it's getting silly. Now, now that, how does that mean, how does that mean anything, a police car balloon? And we see all kinds of customers coming in the door, but I can't say as I've ever seen anybody that's been that cheap. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's, even this one for me, I've, I've reacted to a lot of cheapskates and that, that's shocking. So I walk into this store very confident, thinking I'm gonna get this cake for my wife. Cake and a balloon. She's not five! Oh, God. How long have they been together? Like, I assume years. Hell, if I, if I did this on a month anniversary, I'd get slapped. Like, it can't mean that much if you can't separate this, this illness from, you know, being able to buy something nice. And I'm not a material person, all right? I don't need big, expensive, fancy shit to like make out that I'm, I'm doing well. I understand that fact. And I don't believe that anniversary should be on who gets the most elaborate gift. I mean, it's gotta have something that has meaning and like y you can see the effort and the thought that's gone into it. That's, that's the way to my heart. That and the teller. But, you know, that's obvious. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. You need a cake made. Fuck, he's gonna have it made out of tarmac. Scraped off the road out front. <laughs> but is there anything I could do to probably make that a little bit less than a $29.99? What if you were to take that frosting off, but with the cake, what would it be? No frosting! It's not a cake then! You may as well give her a loaf of bread or a baguette! Happy anniversary! Here's a floppy balloon and a stick of bread! <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Nothing says I love you than a bear cake. It's kind of like buying a car without the wheels. He would. He'd get someone to fucking push it. Yeah, what I'm trying to do is cut this cost a, a, what, a lot more. What is your budget? What are you looking to spend? Zero. That's the man's budget. Unrealistic. That's his budget. Like, let's say, and I know this is strange. What if I were to bring some of my own ingredients that's illegal. My, my own mother's gone for like, uh, she's done like cooking and stuff. I, I know friends who've owned restaurants and stuff. Um, everything on site uh, falls under the, you know, the license and stuff, you know. So things like allergies and shit, you can't just be bringing in your products from your cupboards. You can't do that. 
There's health code in that. You can't. There you go. We have to purchase everything. Somehow we need to make this cake $7. So what if you use some of the leftover ingredients and put that in the cake? You're killing me here. My love, my love, my darling, for your anniversary, I had a bakery, a well-established business of over 20 years, make you a cake out of the bin. Oh, God. Doesn't deserve her. She seems really sweet. Okay. We have cake pops. Cake pops. What, what does it look like? What is a cake pop? It's layered. It, it's going to be a tiny little thing, isn't it? It's going to be... Uh, uh, Danny, what is a cake pop? What's it going to look like, though? You bought a leftovers! And a floppy balloon! <laughs> All right. It's still cake. I mean... That's cake. That's cake. First of all, that looks like something you put in your ass. Second of all, it's, it's, it's creepy. It's like, it's for like a six-year-old's party. Bloons and, and cake shoved in a fucking suppository? No! Oh, God. Nothing says I love you more than blended up leftover cake in a plastic tube. It's crazy. It, honestly, he'd be better off with just a card. That would be better than this. This just shows how little... He has done, and uh, you know, I, I can't, I can't. Most husbands don't even remember their anniversary. It's true, like, I, I don't remember what happened yesterday, to be honest. I'm te because of my dyslexia, I'm terrible with dates and names and places, I can't remember shit. No, no. Happy birthday, 16. For her anniversary, he's laid out plates that say happy 16th birthday. Oh, Jesus Christ. The napkins say 16, but I'm sure we want to make it to 16 years of bliss. He's really stretching it. Happy retirement? It's celebrating an anniversary, meaning we, we mean to go on for the rest of our lives. And he's surfing shit on a plate that says happy retirement. And what is that? It, uh, are they dips? Are they dips? Why are they transparent? Looks like he served him in a condom. It's for Mary, so hey. Love your husband. Put your name! Oh God, this is, this is the most triggering man ever. There are others who pissed me off more. <laughs> what is that? What is that? All right, let's, let's ignore everything that's wrong with this fucking table. Even including the fact that he's used the toilet paper that you get out of those urinals you know the ones that you just pull out and they snap if you put too much pressure on them but then when you pull them they don't come off <laughs> it's that toilet roll let's ignore that for a second what is this what did he burn or who did he burn and serve look at it are they nuggets are they wings it just looks like cow shit so my guest arrived at this party and he oh okay he's got guests Probably had to pay him. No, come on. Come on. No. No, the balloon says happy graduation! She'd actually graduate if she got a new boyfriend. That's a, that's an upgrade. Different than what Rick would have done? You can't. Uh, anniversary sale. The balloon has sale written on it. And look at it. Look, it's, it's not... It's taped from the top. <laughs> that balloon looks like someone sat on an emoji. Oh, I can't. It's poor woman. Surprise! <laughs> it says it all. Oh God, who looks down at a surprise party like that? Who who enters a surprise party like fuck no? Wait until she finds out her anniversary cake is made out of one-year-old banoffee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that hug. Oh, no. I think she's been out cheating. And you know what? Wouldn't blame her. De mm. That hug. That's not a loving hug. That's a... Oh, fuck. What have you done? What would you buy? What would you buy? Did you get me socks again? That are yours. <laughs> How are you guys? Look what I've done for you. I am looking at what you've done for me. Oh, my God. I can't watch. Oh, the first Daz watches where I can't watch. I have hanging from everywhere. That's an interesting right story. Through. Here's the deal with that. Mm -hmm. They have a shortage on helium. Oh, oh, how could they have a helium shortage? 
I get the energy crisis, right? Because Russia and Ukraine, wars do stir up costs. Global inflation, right? The housing market, we can understand all of that. But I don't think there's ever been a helium shortage. No one's waking up in the morning going, Oh no, my voice is not squeaky! <laughs> She's not gonna believe it, is she? So each one of those- Oh God, oh look at that. that. Th this is her anniversary with her love. And she's looking at her feet. Uh, <laughs> ten yeah. years. Ten yes. Years. To ten years. Ten. Excuse me. Ten. That this was the tenth anniversary. They've been together ten years, and that's what he did for their tenth. I thought this was like a one or two at best. You can stab someone, and get eight years in prison. You can kill someone for less. And 10 years, and that's what he did. Oh, oh God, no. No. What's he gonna do for her 20th? He'll probably keep the balloons and re-blow them. Like, I, I can't. I honestly, that one was the, that's probably the worst cheapskate I've ever reacted to. Guys, I hope you enjoyed um, this Daz Watches. Thank you so much for suggesting it to me. Like, love, caress my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay dazzling.